for new visitors. Right now we have the Joyce of Anchor Tug and the Great Lakes Trader uh, barge departing through the Duluth Ship Canal. The barge Great Lakes Trader at the front was built in 2000 by the Halters Marine Yard in Perlington, Mississippi. The barge alone measures 740 feet in length, 78 feet in width, and 45 feet in depth. She has 25 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 44 by 11 feet. The barge has a maximum carry capacity of 39,600 tons. Above her deck, just in front of the tugboat, is a 265-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to load her own cargo without the shore side equipment. The tug Joyce of an ink board at the back was built in 1998 by a Bay Shipbuilding Company of Surgeon Bay, Wisconsin. The tug alone measures 135 feet in length, 50 feet in width, and 26 feet in depth. She is powered by two 5,100 horsepower 12-cylinder Caterpillar diesel engines. The Great Lakes Trader and Joyce have a combined length of 844 feet. The Great Lakes Trader is currently owned by Great Lakes Marine Re Re Leasing Incorporated of Bark River, Michigan. And both the Great Lakes Trader and Joyce of Vanicavort are operated by Vanicavort Tug and Barge Company of Escanaba, Michigan. The Joyce of Vanicavor was named in honor of the wife of Clyde S. Vanicavor, who designed the Joyce. The Joyce and Great Lakes Trader were designed to work together during their entire careers. The trader was originally constructed in two halves, which was later joined at New Orleans Shipyard. Established in 1967, the Van Tug and Barge Company is a pioneer in the use of integrated tug barge systems on the Great Lakes. The company currently operates four such systems to carry iron ore pellets, limestone, and other cargoes across the lakes. The uh, Joyce and Great Lakes Trader arrived earlier this morning to unload limestone at the Greymont Dock here in Superior. Uh, during that unload, the tug actually detached and went to the fuel dock and fueled as the barge was unloading and then came back and reattached itself. They are now on their way to load iron ore pellets in Silver Bay, which is about a four-hour uh, trip for them. Once again, we have the Joyce Elvin Inkaport and Great Lakes Trader departing through the Duluth Ship Canal. Together, they have a combined length of 844 feet. Both are currently operated by Vanicavort Tug and Barge Company of Escanaba, Michigan, and they are currently on their way out empty uh, to load iron or pellets up at Silver Bay. See any crew members on deck, make sure to give them a good wave and wish them a safe trip. Uh, integrated tug barge systems.